this is Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media. I am the founder and chief analyst at Endscreen Media and I am going to tell you today about AVOD Kids and both of their influence on spending. Uh, so a lot of the data I'm going to talk about today is actually available from this free report, Making Screen Time Family Time, which I did in cooperation with Wild Brain Spark. Uh, we late last year, we interviewed, uh, we surveyed rather about 3000 parents in the United States to understand their viewing behavior. And actually, one of the things we dug into quite a lot in that survey was how successful AVOD services were in reaching children. So that's that's the data. That's the part of the data we're going to cover today. Um, I strongly urge you to go pick up a copy of the report. It's free. It's on the Endscreen Media website under the research tab. So just go there and grab it. OK, so what do we do? Let's do a level set and let's take a look at how many people are actually using ad supported services. That's uh, AVOD services like Tubi and free ad supported streaming TV services, the ones producing linear linear channels like Pluto TV. So uh, the, the claims by these companies are pretty extraordinary. Viacom CBS's Pluto TV says they have about 28.4 million monthly active users. Uh, and Zumo, well, Zumo, which is owned by Comcast, it says it has about the same number of, of monthly active users. Uh, the Roku channel doesn't talk about monthly active users, but it does say it reaches 62 million people. So. That's a lot of people. And I want to caution you here. There is no standard for measuring monthly active users. For example, we don't know with Zumo if they're including a co-viewing multiple. They're, in, they're, you know, either they're trying to compensate for the fact that more than one person may be watching that TV at that time. I know that Pluto TV says they do not include a co-viewing multiple. But anyway, I just want to caution you on those numbers. Uh, there are plenty of people in this business now. Uh, Samsung TV Plus, when you buy a Samsung TV, it has free channels built in, as does Vizio and LG and pretty much every other TV that you're going to buy. That's smart. They have a bunch of these linear channels. OK, so those are the claims. Um, looking at some data from a TiVo survey, which was pitched to consumers back in Q4 of 2020, um, TiVo says that the actual actually the number one advertising supported video service is Facebook Watch, which was kind of a surprise to me at 17 percent. People say they use that. The Roku channel, about 14 percent say that they're using it and Crackle, Tubi TV, Pluto TV, 11 percent of folks uh, are using those advertising supported services. So what we're seeing in the market is a rapid growth in AVOD and fast service usage among the population. How does that translate to parents? Well, let's take a look now. Uh, and first of all, parents I would categorize as super consumers of internet TV services. And certainly in AVOD, they are no different. Nine in 10 parents say it is somewhat or very important to them. Uh, and, and we want to really know though, how many of them let their children watch? And boy, do they ever. 91% uh, of parents say that they allow their children to watch advertising supported content. And what's more, 32% say they allow their children to watch on their own. So, you know, I, I would guess that parents are somewhere around and keeping an eye on what they're watching, but the kids are basically watching unsupervised uh, that advertising supported content. Uh, so th that's pretty impressive. Um, now, 51% of parents said that they used Tubi and 51% said they used Pluto TV. Uh, uh, that's a lot. Half of parents are using those services. So I meant uh, those services. So I mentioned parents, they're really super consumers of streaming content. Uh, and 11% of the general population, remember from that TiVo survey, said that they they uh, were watching that, that content. So there you have it. Parents are definitely super consumers. OK, great. So we know now how many parents are allowing their kids to watch. 
Um, and, uh, but, but the real question here is how many of them actually pay attention? How many of those kids are paying attention to the ads? And the great thing here is it looks like they're paying a lot of attention. We asked the parents who said that they watched their, with their children as they watched ad supported content. We asked them what their attention level was like. And what we found was pretty remarkable. 50% said that their children paid at least as much attention to the ads as they did to the content that they were watching beforehand. So that's pretty remarkable. But even more remarkable is that 87% said that their kids pay at least some attention to what they're watching. So again, I can't emphasize enough how important this is if you're an advertiser that you can reach the majority of kids and the majority of kids will see your ad and will absorb what's, what, what you're telling them about the ad. So I think that's really important to, to take away from this. Okay, great. So we know now that kids are there, kids are watching but do they actually have influence over what their parents buy? So the, again, the news I think is very good here for advertisers and for advertising content providers. Two thirds say that they are influenced fairly often in what they buy and research uh, based on what their kids, uh, based on what their kids are, are telling them that the kids are influencing a lot. And what's more, 18% say that they are very often influenced by what, uh, what their kids want. Uh, we did find actually that higher income parents uh, were more influenced, 30%, for example, of the, uh, of the people, of the, of the homes where the income was over 174K a year, they were more influenced than, than lower income. But I wanna emphasize, all parents were to some extent influenced by their children in their purchasing, whatever the income level. So uh, that's a lot of influence there. And, and in, interestingly, one of the things I did with this data was I went in and segmented it out into various groups. And, and one thing I did was compare men versus women, um, how their influence is showing up in the data. So, uh, but, but, but before we get to that, Let's take a look at what categories people are influenced in. And it really looks like kids have influence in just about every category consumed by a household. Strongest influence is found in areas that you would expect family entertainment, for example, going to the movies, um, uh, going to theme parks, that type of thing, 70% of parents say that they are more influenced by their kids um, in, in that particular category. Food delivery, another big category. Yeah, kids love that pizza, right? And 62% of parents say that they're more influenced by their kids in that category. But the influence doesn't stop there. Half of parents say that they're influenced in the hygiene category, 55% in technology and 58% uh, for groceries. So really that's broad influence across pretty much all categories that parents are spending on in the home. Now I mentioned that I segmented out and looked at men versus women. This is really sharp, sharply differentiated in how men and women react to that influence. So for example, in technology, only 19% of women say their children are very influential in what, they, um, uh, in what they're purchasing there. 44% of men say that they are influenced. In groceries, we see the same thing. 25% of women admit to being very influenced by their children versus 42% of men. And we saw this difference in every category. So looks like men are way more influenced by their children in their purchasing behavior than women. Okay, so that's a summary of the purchasing data. So what should you take away from this? Well, the first thing is that kids 
are seeing ads in streaming video. The majority of kids definitely are seeing it. They are paying attention to those ads and they heavily influence how the household budget gets spent. So great news for advertisers, great news for AVOD and fast providers. Uh, there is a large and ready audience for that content. Now, if you want to learn much more about what's going on with kids and how they how they're viewing in their in their household, then you should get over here to the end screen media website, come to the research tab and pick up a copy of making screen time family time uh, while brain spark and and I worked uh, worked worked on this report for a long time. And I think you'll find the data absolutely fascinating and very useful in your day to day our business. This has been Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media and I'll see you again next time.